Okay, we're here with Broncos offensive lineman. I'm gonna try and pronounce it, but I'm probably gonna say it wrong. Casamilli, you you would allow, no, I'm gonna try it. Utalio. Utalio, all right. All right, you made the uh, the switch from uh, playing uh, junior college ball at um, uh, Los Angeles Valley. It's now starting in Division One football. Talk about the uh, transition. Well, what's the transition been like for you? It's pretty different. Like coming from uh, JC, I, I had to uh, work hard for this position that I am right now. And then, um, yeah, it's a long way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's about it. Before uh, coming to uh, Western, what did you know about the Broncos and the city of Kalamazoo? I didn't even know nothing about Kalamazoo and Broncos. I uh, first know about Broncos when um, Mother Coaches called me, and then um, and then they started like telling me to come on a visit and stuff. So um, I was pretty comfortable with the coach, and then uh, I like I trust all the coaches out here, and uh, I really like it. Were there any other Division One schools that uh, were going after you? Oh yeah. Um, I was at a, uh, I got a note from Cassius and uh, um, Nebraska, uh, Oregon. What made you choose Western over those schools? I just like Western because uh, one of the coaches, like one of the coaches came to the Valley and then, uh, he came and visited me and uh, we just talk about um, like academic stuff. We just talk about schoolwork and all that. But um, yeah, that's why I was so comfortable with the coaches out here. And I really like it. Were you aware of the Central Michigan Western rivalry, and how did it feel to beat the Chips this past weekend? It was, it was pretty good. It's my first time. I didn't even know about the rivalry, like anything about that. But um, I really learned that um, they really hate each other. Like, and um, I almost got kicked out five times through the game for punching one of some some of the guys. So. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah. Um, before the season started, uh, one of the uh, giant question marks on the team was the uh, well, the, uh, was the offensive line, especially with the injuries to uh, Kevin Gallagher and uh, Greg Peterson. Uh, but you performed better than what anyone expected, and uh, you've even gotten a lot of praise from uh, Coach Cubit. What has really been like the key to your quick success here at Western? Like, he was just like, um, to me, you just work hard. Like, it's where my head right now. Like, I've been working hard every time. I'm getting more vicious from my family back home. Like, I've been talking to my parents and them. And I've been like, thinking about that. That's why I get more vicious from them. So, um, I really like the coaches and everybody. And I'm really comfortable here. Has the coaches talked to you at all about what's going to happen when uh, Peterson and Gallagher comes back? Considering that at the beginning of the season, they were starting in the uh, in the interior. Uh, at first, um. I was um, I was behind like I was on um, second string for um, for Peterson, and then um, Mario Peterson got hurt. I I had to step up. I just think to myself I had to step up and um, like do the job. And then um, yeah, I, I really feel, we fight for it and um, we work hard for it. At uh, yesterday's uh, luncheon, Alex Carter uh, talked about how intimidating and intense you are. Where do you get this kind of fiery attitude from? I just got it like it's culture, man. Um, every practice, I just come hard. Like every, everything, every like during practice, I just uh, I just get more vicious from everything. Like, you talked a little bit about the culture, and we know that the Samoan culture, the men tend to grow their hair out. Can you tell us a little bit more about that for people that don't um, know? To me, I'm full Tongan, but I was born in Rich and Samoa, so I was. It's just like every Samoan there is, they they um, football is everything to them. I know it's academic too, but um, like football to them is just everything. And, um, yeah, that's why every, if you go to Samoa right now, like you see kids playing football, like going hard. They just want to come to this position that I'm at right now. So I mean, yeah. You're very noticeable on the field with your long hair. So just a couple questions about the hair. Uh, when was uh, how long have you had your hair at that length? Uh, I have like two years now. And then, um, yeah. When was your last haircut? Uh, two years ago. Two years ago? Alright. Any chance we can see you put it in dreadlocks like some of the other players on the team? Uh, no. Like right. Who's got the better hair on the team? Alex Carter, <laughs> Robert Arnheim, Dallas Walker, or Dan O'Neill? Um, I don't know. It's pretty hard. Yeah, you had a big one. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was Dan O'Neill.
Offensive offensive line team. Yeah. All right. And who has better hair, you or Troy Palomalu? Uh, me. 